Hello everyone, welcome to the Melax tutorial series. In today's short video, we will talk about two NLP components in the Clamp Toolkit, POS tagging and chunking. In natural language processing, part of speech tagging, or POS tagging, also called word category disambiguation, is the process of marking up a word in the text as corresponding to a particular part of speech, such as noun, verb, adjective, etc. POS tagging is more complicated than just having a list of words and their parts of speech, because some words can represent more than one part of speech at different times. In natural languages, a large percentage of the word forms are ambiguous. Therefore, a POS tagging algorithm needs to look at both the word's definition and its context in the sentence. The CLAMP Toolkit currently provides only one POS tagger, the default OpenNLP POS tagger. This tagger had been retrained on a data set of clinical notes, therefore it is designed specifically for clinical text. But for advanced users, you can certainly replace the default POS.bin model to your own model. In the CLAMP Toolkit, the part of speech information can be easily visualized when we hover our mouse over the tokens, such as comorbidities, is tagged as NNS, which means a noun in a plural form. Multiple is tagged as JJ, which means an adjective. And with is tagged as IN, which means a preposition and so on and so forth. Here it shows a list of some of the common POS tags, such as NN means noun, RB means adverb, VB means verb, just to name a few. Now let's talk about chunking. A chunker does a shallow parsing of a sentence and identifies the syntactic constituents such as noun phrases, verb phrases, etc. The process is similar to how we understand a sentence or memorize a telephone number. We don't try to understand a sentence by individual words or try to remember a phone number by individual numbers. Instead, we group them together to make things easier to understand or remember. This is chunking, to chunk together information. In the CLAMP Toolkit, there's one chunker provided, the default OpenNLP chunker, which is a wrapper of the chunker in OpenNLP. Again, advanced users can use the configuration file to change the default model, the EnglishChunker.bing, to your own model. In the chunker example shown here, we can clearly see that after a chunker is applied, several tokens are grouped together or chunked together, such as a white male veteran, multiple comorbidities, bladder cancer, and etc. So in today's short video, we went over two natural language processing components, POS tagging and chunking. If you find this video useful, or if you are interested in learning more about clinical natural language processing, please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoy.